there are certain weapons that cannot do certain things hmm. prayer and fasting can cast a kind of spirits jesus said this kind there are spirits that are casted just by declaring the name of jesus there are spirits that you must engage prayer and fasting there are spirits that are casted through knowledge there are spirits that are casted through sacrifice there are spirits that are casted through covenant there are spirits that are casted through agreement but there is a mystery that can address everything it says wherein we shall be able to quench all the fiery darts not some the fiery darts of the wicked above all i've taught you other principles but above all taking the shield of faith he said wherein you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts are we together and here the bible is saying that three things will happen one that a man he never said take faith take note now he didn't say take faith he said the shield of faith and then he says you will be able to quench the fiery that what are they it's not it will be costly for us to assume we understand what he's saying what is fiery that arrows hmm. are we together now yes and then he says you shall be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked so faith is many things a shield is one of what faith can become that's not all it can become but he's saying that faith has dimensions just like love the breath the length that there is a dimension of faith there is something you can do with your faith that can become a shield this is what he's teaching you already have faith but is it a shield faith can be an instrument of getting answers but not a shield the operation of faith as a shield is not the operation of faith that will give you answered prayers this is what i'm trying to teach you he's teaching warfare here not answered prayers he's teaching a defense system how a believer can use faith not just to obtain a good report like hebrews 11 no he's teaching warfare here there is how you can engage in faith and please god there is how you can engage in faith and receive things that god promised but there is how you can use faith like a defense this is not god now god is in heaven you are using your faith to defend yourself hmm. he's saying taking the shield of faith wherein you will be able to quench all the fiery darts let's look at what apostle john said first john chapter 5 and verse 4 first john chapter 5 and verse 4 he said for whatsoever soever is born of god overcometh the world the greek word cosmos the social strata alongside the mindset that exists in it he says and this is that victory that overcometh the world even our faith so faith is many things an instrument for receiving answered prayer is just one of it unfortunately many people that's all they know about faith as an instrument that can bridge between you and what you want so every time we say faith our idea is just about receiving things are we together now that just an instrument to receive the bible says in warfare the shield is faith this is the victory that overcomes that there are fiery darts that can come for a believer and that when you know how to convert your faith like a shield it can shield all not some there is something you can do with faith that can shield all the fiery darts my first question is what is the fiery darts that that's where i want us to look at because if we don't know what it is what is the fiery darts of the devil that he says to quench now he was speaking to people in those days who were used to warfare and the shield he was talking about yes not some small shield that you see the way the the military people fought war the shield was as tall as them from head to toe they could hold it 
are we together now and in ancient times when they were fighting war because of how they were trained the tip of their arrows were dipped sometimes in poison and when they fired it if it touched any part of you it could kill you so the goal was for the, the arrow to touch any part of you and it will destroy you number two sometimes they could light fire on the arrows are we together now and with that arrow something that will be burning maybe like kerosene or something so that if it touched you whether your clothes or whatever it could set you on fire and so he says that in that similitude satan throws things at people and that you can use your faith as a defense to quench all the fiery darts let's see what those fiery darts are this chapter 3 now the serpent was more what subtle than all the beasts of the field which the lord has made and he what did he use what is his arrow what is the arrow what does he send to men words listen 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 understand what i'm teaching you the bible says he said to the woman woman yea had god said so we never see him beating the woman we never see him molesting her like tying her hand but what left him to her were words did god say ye shall not eat of every tree in the garden it's a question he engaged the woman in a conversation he made her listen to him and she replied verse 2 and the woman said unto the serpent we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden verse 3 but the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden god had said remember he's forcing her to tell him what god said and he did not say it by saying what did god say he just asked a question that forced her to reveal he wanted to know what information god told her so that it will become the basis are you seeing that now when satan comes to you he doesn't talk he does something that makes you he wants to hear what did god tell you because that's where the faith is listen he said what did god tell you he said but of the fruit of um which is in the midst of the garden god had said you shall not eat of it neither ye touch it lest you die so that's what god told her she memorized it and had it to heart next verse and the serpent said unto the woman what was he attacking the woman no he was not attacking the woman he was attacking the information upon which her confidence was upon listen carefully this is a warfare of informations he didn't say woman i want to attack you the woman was there and satan could not touch her because there was an information that became a shield her obedience to that information was what stopped satan so when satan come he said i want to know the, not you the information is what i want to attack and here he's saying that this is what god said and satan said that's it my attack is not on you my attack is on what is keeping you in pace with god if i can attack that thing i don't need to attack you something about your taking away the shield of faith will expose you are we together now and the bible says and the serpent said to the woman ye shall not surely die in other words forget about that thing god is saying it's nonsense let me give you another information and this is what he said verse 5 let me show you how satan operates now satan on hearing what god has told her is trying to reveal something to her for god doth know that in the day ye eat thereof then your eyes shall be open and ye shall be as gods knowing good and evil the fiery darts satan is creating a picture he's creating an idea that god is insecure he's just trying to tell you some things because he's insecure if you work with the information i'm supplying you you will find out that you will suddenly become like a god verse 6 all that thing satan was saying listen to me was doing something to the woman it was taking away the shield of faith the proof that the shield had been taken was this when the woman saw 
that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes she had been looking at that tree all the time in in the, our idea of tree as we know and the bible says and the tree to be desired to make one wise this new information had entered her mind it's like a programming this woman had received another information he said then she acted what is faith conviction and the action you take based on it god told her something that was a persuasion as proposed by her husband and she kept acting on the word of god that for as long as she kept acting on what god said it was a shield satan could not touch her because god's integrity will make what she believed to remain and now satan says there's no way i can attack this woman i will give her another source he did not stop her from having faith he changed what she was having faith in now satan is not a fool many people say he's coming to attack your faith no satan has never had the business of attacking your faith he's trying to attack your faith in god you need faith to do anything even if it's to work with satan because faith is about the persuasion that comes from ideas and the action you take based on those ideas here's what he did to the woman and the bible says she gave it to her husband who was with her you see that adam was with her he was not somewhere roaming around in the wilderness love kept him there that's a subject for another day the woman fell as a result of deception the man fell as a result of love apostle peter taught us adam was not deceived it was eve that was deceived adam loved his wife and as a proof so the next time you say i love you till i die or fall inside a well or something this word is a luciferian spirit that that statement verse 7 verse 7 and the eyes of them both were open now the people who came and led prayer here cried that our eyes be open but who opened it you see that another information had created another idea satan never made any physical contact in as much as we know but he kept firing that and that did something to the woman and force god to take an action against them think about it you can't accuse satan as it were satan said what did i do i only suggested to you and you believed it and put you in a position where god himself punishes you are we together now look how serious this thing is look chapter 4 quickly please we had considered that scripture Luke chapter 4 and Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness next verse please and all of that he was tempted of the devil verse 3 and the devil what did Satan do you see now again so you know where do you think Satan lands this the idea of firing that two words have you read anywhere in your bible that he sent forth his word that he released his word and when his word got to people he did certain things to them satan understands the value of words that in this kingdom dominion is through words and what words do to men that's why jesus is called the word of god the word of god if thou be the son of god notice that when satan comes to you he tries to say something to you that will force you to reveal something god has said he is not interested in you because he knows that you on your own you cannot stand so he wants to see what is that shield that shield i'm going to soon show you he said if thou be the son of god command this stone to be bred and then jesus answering him said it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word and satan said ah you know this scripture let's look at the third temptation please go to verse 6 and he brought him to jerusalem and set him over the temple and said to him now watch this now if thou be the son of god cast yourself from hence verse 10 
for it is written first time satan did not he just said if you are the son of god but now he said oh you are using scripture i know it too it is written he shall give his angels is that is that not true this is bible here satan is quoting the bible he shall give his angels charge so jesus don't you no longer have faith in the father what has happened to your faith that you cannot jump ah don't shame me don't fall my hand he said ah, i'm aware that there are angels that protect you jump as a proof that you have faith if jesus jumped something would have happened to him that will change the course of history <laughs> i know you are surprised that if jesus had jumped do you know what made him the living logos ah. you, you know if you read the bible don't just read the bible for the sake of devotion what would have happened if jesus jumped i know many of you would have ah, no, no matter what they would have come to catch him and all of that see they said we do not have a high priest who has not been tempted why will the bible use that word for jesus tempted like us yet without sin meaning there was a possibility it would have happened are we together now yes and jesus he said for it is written so you see satan does not necessarily stop you from having faith because whoever gave you the shield is the one who defends it so satan just changes the object of your belief and your conviction and he leaves you there believing you have faith and destroy your life and wreck you he knows what he's looking for the shield of faith let me tell you this the bible never said having the shield of faith it says taking it there is something you are going to do to be do you know what the shield of faith is the shield of faith is not the written word logos the shield of faith is what god has told you that he's committed to defend over the issue you want what god has told you that god looks at you and says joshua no man will be able to stand against you that is the word satan is looking for not just the one you just find anyhow in scripture there is a rima word there is a revealed word for you that is the basis of your lifting for instance god can look at a woman and before you had your children god can say i covenant with you that none of your child will be wayward that's what satan is looking for no matter all your bible study words you will not bother because the strength of your children's remaining is your believing that word the day you stop believing it you have taken away the shield of faith and given satan room to wreck your children are we together god gives you a word and says surely surely you will have your children and there will be no barrenness you will be surprised that satan is not interested satan is not interested in what is written he's interested in what god said to you not to everybody let me tell you something the proof that god is ready to work with you is that he gives you something that is the basis of believing him there is nobody that rises in the kingdom without a revealed word from god that becomes the basis of your confidence you want to start a business you go to god and pray and while you are praying either the holy ghost speaks to you or you a scripture jumps out and that word you see is where the attack comes from satan will begin to use things to fight that word the goal is to bring you to a point listen brothers and sisters warfare much more than the war of spirits is the war of informations because your conviction is based on what your mindset is carved upon are we together words this kingdom is a kingdom of words men fall by words men rise by words men reign by words